This is Twit. So this is a little controversial, uh, and I just thought it was interesting. Uh, a uh, a GitHub user who goes by the handle Zephy created a patch that removes a limitation that Microsoft deliberately imposed on users of seventh generation Intel processors, which prevents those users from receiving, for example, last month's or this month's uh, Windows updates if they still use Windows 7 or 8.1 with KB Lake or Ryzen PCs. Um, so it was controversial, of course, even though, the, the as we know, Microsoft told everybody well in advance that this is what was going to happen. Uh, still, people who were on who were choosing to use Windows 7 or 8.1 on the latest hardware discovered that they could no longer receive updates. What was interesting was that this this Zephy guy on GitHub, uh, he was just sort of curious exactly what was done. So he did he he took a look at the updates and uh, the, uh, that were in knowledge base. 4012218, which was the March 2010 Patch Tuesday, um, and discovered two new functions which Microsoft added. Is CPU supported <laughs> and is device serviceable? Those two functions returned a Boolean result. True or false? Yes or no? making a one byte change to is CPU supported so that it returns a one rather than a zero and everything works. Meaning that, that it's not that the updates aren't compatible in some fashion with these later version processors, but Microsoft simply wanted to enforce their policy that they would not allow mm -hmm. newer processors to to operate on older versions of Windows and continue to receive updates. So that solves the question because we thought maybe it was a technical issue. Correct. Not. And exactly. And so that's what's annoying is it's not that they had to do any, like the engineering of the updates is not compatible, which always did. I mean, it's, I get it that Microsoft doesn't want to have to not support older architectures, but why not wait until they actually don't support older architectures rather than enforcing the policy because it's a policy when in fact doing so is denying users of Windows 7 and 8.1, which are being kept updated. For example, I'm getting them on my Windows 7 because I bought Skylake on purpose so that this wouldn't happen to me. So people who bought newer machines choosing to, to stay with older versions of Windows aren't getting the updates that, that people on older hardware are through 2020. So three more years of updates just because. So that's annoying. Anyone's, if anyone is interested, and, and I'm not suggesting this is a good thing to do because this requires patching and essentially hacking the um, a couple files. All the information is on GitHub. I have, I have all the links in the show notes. If somebody is in this position, uh, it's well vetted. It works, but it does mean that every time Microsoft, you know, like every month, Microsoft will probably refresh this, and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't work in a month or two, Microsoft will decide, okay, we're just not going to make it as easy to do. But, you know, the cat's out of the bag. We now know that they just added a test. It's It tests the CPU ID. Is this CPU, I, is this CPU seventh generation or not? And, or, 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 or later. And if it is, it says CPU not supported. Not for any good reason, except because they said that's what they were going to do. And what's annoying is in the process, they're denying people updates for security, which they're saying are important, which people could otherwise have. 